Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to customize your Git Bash shell. As you can see, I've got the Git Bash shell right here open and it's got my username at computer name, Ming64, and then the present working directory, etc slash profile D. And I want to change that, customize that a little bit. So how do I do it? Well, you got to find out where Git was installed. Looks like mine is under program files, Git with an uppercase G. That's a good place to start. Now you got to dig into the etc folder and then you'll see a little folder called profile.d. Under there, you'll see Git prompt, and that's what you got to edit if you want to change the way the Git Bash shell displays itself. Now, you could go in there and just edit it right away, but I don't like to live that dangerously. I'm just going to create a copy of that file first and then come over here and edit it with Notepad. Now, you probably need to do this in administrator mode. When I try and save this, it'll probably bark at me, but I'm ready for that. So as you can see up here, it displays the title Ming64 colon slash present working directory. That's the directory I'm currently in. You can see it says Etsy profile D. That's definitely the directory that I'm in here. And that is defined right there. So I could say git bash config example up there. I like leaving the present working directory in there so I'm going to leave that alone and that's going to change what gets displayed up here. Now I want to worry about the username at computer name. Maybe I want to change that. Well you'll see this line right here is what configures that element right there. So I could change this to git at user. It's not too interesting but it'll change it around a little bit and when this runs well it's going to display git at user. I think we even got Ming W64 there you might want to change that a little bit and I'll just changed right there that's done and you can even see changing the color of the git bash shell customize the git bash shell as to what gets displayed all of those settings are done right here now all you have to do at this point is save your changes how easy is is that well, it's not that easy because I'm not running in administrator mode so I got to change to administrator mode and you can see it's still not saved that little red icon says it's not saved now I'm gonna hit this really hard now this change is saved and oh no it didn't update well, of course it didn't update because I got to open the shell again but click on git bash shell and boom look at that at the top it says git bash config example over on the left hand side I have changed the git bash shells username and computer name I've even changed that ming64 to changed exclamation mark which I don't really like but it looks interesting and I've left pwd the present working directory and there you go that's how easy it is to configure update change the git bash shell and customize it so it doesn't display the computer name at username type of display. It's all right there in that profile D folder. Now I am going to close this. I'm going to delete that git prompt shell. Continue. And then the git prompt for editing, updating, configuring the git bash shell will be taken back to the way it was before. Right click on the git bash here link and there you go. We are back to where we started. So there you go. That's how easy it is to update, configure, change the git bash shell so that it doesn't display your username and password. Now if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on git, github, gitlab, bitbucket, devops, tooling, Java, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And, you know, just thinking, uh, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?